I came out with a superpower color collection. It's a range of a direct dye. Sometimes it's kind of hard for me to talk because I hear the echo, and I'm like, did I just say that? So just excuse me for a second. So we have our two superpower models here. This is one of them. We have charcoal on her routage, and we use the vibrant pastel mixed with superpowers. Go ahead and stand right here in the middle of the stage. Let's pop up her before. Okay, so when doing pastels, always know that it has to be on level 10. It shows up best, otherwise you're just getting a very sheer tone. We lifted her using Big Nine, which is 10 volume, and her hair lifted literally to a level 10. Big Nine is amazing. Have you guys used Big Nine here yet, anybody? Big Nine is our cream lightener, and it lifts nine levels, if not more. I could take hair level one, two, and three to platinum in one session using foils. Big Nine is serious. It's strong, but it's very, very gentle. So if you guys have not tried Big Nine, do yourself a favor. It's going to change your life because it doesn't dry out. I mean, our models were so surprised. They were like saying, our, my scalp doesn't sting. How did I turn blonde so quick? I mean, they were all blown away. You could look at their face, like, right? So after we lifted her light, we used charcoal on her routage. Then I went out to Lavender Lust with a squirt of Purple Raven through the mid shaft, uh, Pink Diamond with our new Pink Possession, which is coming out at, uh, in stores this month in June, and then Cosmic Coral, which is at the booth right now. Cosmic Coral is new, and you're going to love it. You can see how beautiful the color is right here. And go ahead and spin around. Okay. Do you guys like her routage? I mean, look at that. That charcoal on the scalp is on point, right? I love using the charcoal as a shadow rootage because it it makes it look a little bit more, um, a lot of our clients who want fashion colors, sometimes they want it to be a little bit more wearable or friendly or whatnot. So I love to translate fantasy colors and almost mimic a balayage. So that way you see like the color melt flow together. Go ahead and hold my hand. Mm -hmm. Yes. Give her a hand, guys. <laughs> yes. Our next model here. It kind of looks like the Joker. You get purple next to green, right? I love that. She looks like a, a villain vixen. <laughs> so let me share with you my formula that I use on her. Let's show her before. Okay. Yeah. So her, her routage area is pretty dark. She was the one that when I applied Big Nine on her, she was like, oh my gosh, she literally looked up in 10 minutes and she was already blonde, right? <laughs> She's like, here, you can say it like It was crazy. I was like, I've never been this blonde so quick. <laughs> Look at that. What, what on earth? I was like, oh, my God, it's lifting so quick. <laughs> And she said her scalp didn't burn, and she's used to, like, her scalp burning when she goes to the salon. So she was like, oh, my God, you know, I want my stylist to use this. So seriously, guys, get on that big nine. All right, so the formula, I mean, 10 volume on the scalp, guys. Come on. I didn't even, I wasn't even trying. I mean, that's really light. So I put charcoal on her routage. <laughs> No, seriously, I wasn't even trying. <laughs> so then we did Lavender Lust, Purple Raven, and then I melted it into Mint of Steel with a touch of Green Aurora. All right? Let's do a little spin here so everyone can see. Yes. Do you guys love doing superpower direct dyes type of color? How many of you guys have clients out there who likes? Yeah? Awesome. All right. So do most of your clients prefer natural colors? Raise your hand. Okay, so natural, some more natural, right? All right, so let's talk about how we can make natural hair color look super natural. <laughs> All right, come out this way. Have anyone tried our Naked collection yet? The Naked collection is so beautiful. It mimics like a makeup palette, right? You have your foundation, your, your, your nude lipstick and everything that you see in the makeup counter, but you don't really see in the hair world. I wanted to launch it in our Demi Permanent series, so that way it only deposits, it doesn't break the base. If you have ever used our Guy Tang My Danny Demi Permanent Color, you will know that it leaves the hair with so much shine. It's very acidic, it's a pH of 6.1 to 6.4, so after you lighten the hair, 
you literally close the cuticle and add so much shine into the hair, right? So let's talk about her formula here. So look at her scalp. Okay, so she, thank God she came in like this. I was like, oh, you're already lifted. We don't have to lighten you. So we work with what she came in with. So I mix Naked 8, okay, with our rose gold. So when you look closely, you can see that rosy tone. Can you guys see it? Which makes it so soft and wearable. Our clients love rose gold. My, my phone is rose gold. My, my whole life is rose gold, you know? <laughs> Everything I have is rose gold. So it's beautiful and it's so wearable. And the best part about rose gold is that when rose gold evolves, or some of us call it fades off over time, what happens is because it's a red, violet, beige base, it turns into a beige blonde. So through consultation, we have to tell our clients these things. I, I keep on hearing so many hair, hair besties and people on Facebook groups, you know, they'll say, oh my God, it fades so fast, blah, 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 all that type of stuff, right? Just know it's a sheer pigment, right? If you want it to last longer, you go darker. Also talk about cool water, color safe shampoo, like our My Confidant shampoo. Oh, my, th my, everything. Uh, did you see that? Uh, oh my God, next thing my clothes are gonna fall off. <laughs> I, I'm doing this new thing, it's like a garter. I don't know, I'm, I, th I thought it was cute, so I put it on. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, through her mid shaft, we did naked 10 and 9RG rose gold, and on the ends, it's just naked 10. The naked series, I'm telling you guys, everybody can wear it. Just introduce it to your client, glaze them and tone them with naked 10. They're gonna love it. I promise you guys, when you use it, it will change your life because it's so much fun when you tell your clients in your chair, I'm gonna get you naked today. And they go, what? It gets them excited. Do you know what I'm saying? How many of you guys are gonna try naked? How many of you guys are gonna try naked? <laughs> Good. We have the, the regular naked, which has more of a mauve tone. The mauve tone cancels out the warmth and it gives you that mushroomy type of brown, blonde that is very popular right now. So the Naked series, Misty Moth Express toners, if you guys want that mushroom type of brown, you could get it with the, the Naked series. Then we have Naked Glow, which is more of a um, a gold beige tone, so you have warmth in our collection, and you also have Naked Blush, which is a little bit more of a Waller Melon blushy pink, okay? So check them out. All right? Yes. Yes. All right, let's talk about silvers. Man, the floor is slippery. If I fall, just laugh. <laughs> I'll just get on the floor and start twerking if I fall. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at her before. Oh. Oh. Okay. You guys, this is, okay. This is kind of like our worst nightmare sometimes, right? Do you know why? Because you know if you touch that demarcation line, it can break off, right? Especially when the hair is that dark. It was, it was scary. Her hair was dark, but she was shooketh. <laughs> she was shooketh. We didn't have any paranormal hair activities, just a situation at all. <laughs> you, were you shooketh? I was. She was shooketh. I was shooketh. <laughs> Usually, I'll be in the salon for like two and a half, three hours, trying to get that blonde to be blonde. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, not even. Blonde. <laughs> yeah, everyone was shooketh, including myself. I was like, oh. Because normally, listen, I, I deal with a lot of dark hair, like Asian, Latina, you know. I, I, yeah, so I go, okay, I, need, I got the foils ready. I'm going to pull out the foils. And when I put it on, I go, oh, all we have to do is put a bag on her head. And that was it. And she just, her natural heat, within 20 minutes, boom, she was blonde. Do we have an in-between where we lifted her? Any, can we? Yeah, there. Okay, so 10 volume on the scalp. 30 on the mid shaft. Big nine. Big nine. It's big. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about her formula. Okay. <laughs> so I use our our permanent color to tone her versus our dim mic. Her hair was still so strong. And because I really want to drive that pigment in, and I'm very anal. 
I see yellow in everything. How many people are like that? Do you see yellow in everything? I'm like, I see brassy red, orange. I'm like, I can't, I can't. You know, so I saw yellow, and so I decided to use permanent, because permanent can lift it that much more, one more level maybe, with 10 or six volume, just a budget, and then deposit color. So I used 10 DL and 8 DL on her routage. So take a look at her routage there, that's her shadow root, and 10 DL on the ends. Okay, DL stands for Dusty Lavender. So, why, why do you see silver when I say Dusty Lavender? Anybody knows why? At a level 10. Violet cancels out yellow, right? At a level 10, the pigment is so sheer, it just cancel, cancels out any yellow that she has in her hair. So when she turns around, you just see silver. And keep in mind, the lighting that we have in here is also warmer. It's a little bit slightly orange, so it's muting out the violet that's there. Lighting is everything. We all know that. If you're working in a salon with orange lighting, always remember that. You know, I, I have a, multiple ring lights. I change everything to LED lighting because that's how your, your clients can't tell what color they're seeing. How many of you guys have clients who complain about their color? They're like, I still see yellow, or why is it purple, right? Lighting is so important. I suggest that you invest in LED lighting that you can adjust the temperature according to certain lights. Because if, you're, if your light is too fluorescent and blue, and you're doing a copper redhead, it's not going to look that copper. Does that make sense? And then on my side, it seems like people are always going, why does the rose gold look purple? Why is it, you know? So there's all that case that goes on, and it's mainly lighting. And it also depends on how high you lift the hair. Always remember, the remaining pigment contribution in the hair plays a role. Because if I only lifted her up to level eight, it would not look silver. Does that make sense? It just looks beige. The lavender would just cancel out the, the, the orangey yellow and just give you an ashy beige blonde, right? Your canvas is everything. All right. Thank you, Models.